Hi everybody, today's assignment is a brainstorm drawing. You will need a piece of paper and a pencil. If you want to use a mechanical pencil, that's just fine. If you want to use a fancy drawing pencil, that's just fine. If you just want to use a regular old pencil, awesome. Uh, let me show you some examples before we get started. Like I said, we are going to model our drawings after Basquiat's drawings, and this is a copy of one of his. Notice, lots of words, lots of little sketches, lots of variety in line quality. What I mean by that is there's some dark lines, some light lines, some lines of fade out, some short, some long. So get to know your pencil as you do this. Push down hard, do lots of different varieties of lines. I'm going to also show you just some student examples. These ones I made copies of so I could show you just from the past. Notice the entire page is covered with stuff, words, pictures. Um, this one has color on it. Today you're just using a pencil. We'll get into color later. Okay, I want to compare this one to this one, can you see how there's more of a variety of value values, how light or dark something is? So you got some darker areas, some lighter areas, and some color and stuff. But more interesting, because this one's just kind of evenly spaced. If you squint your eyes, it's pretty black and white. No in between. Try to add some variety. And we got this one too. Good drawing, but we got mostly pictures on this side, mostly writing on this side. Try to mix it up so you got a good variety. All right. The title of today's brainstorm drawing is an old friend. Just so I can remember, I'm going to actually write that on my drawing somewhere. This looks good right here. An old friend. First thing that pops into my head when I think of an old friend uh, is a dog. So I'm going to draw a dog. Basquiat's drawings were not perfect. I'm not going to spend my entire half hour trying to make a perfect dog. Those are boring anyway. I'm just going to do some strange dog. I don't even like dogs, but I mean, I, I like them. I just don't want one. This doesn't really look like a dog anyway. Maybe I'll put a collar on him. Give him an eyeball. There we go. Collar needs a leash. How about I make my leash go all over the place? There we go. Um, an old friend. What else comes into my mind? It kind of sounds like a country song. Maybe I'll write truck. I'm going to make some letters that are bigger. Just because if I do everything the same, it loses interest. Truck. Maybe I'll draw a little truck in here. Such a good truck. Yeah. Uh, what else do I think of? Country song. Well, we got the dog already, but I'll just write dog, girlfriend. So I started with an old friend. If I start to get away from that, if my mind wanders other places, that's totally fine. For some reason, I just thought of a house. Let's put a house in here. Notice how I'm overlapping. That's a good thing to do, along with doing a variety of different sizes of words. I do a variety of different sizes of drawings and do some of that overlapping. For some reason, I think I need to put in just kind of a wild shape here. And I think I need some more words. Um, you could actually think of a poem or some song lyrics, or maybe a song that you know about. One thing I want you to consider, please keep this safe for school. On your own time, I want you to just do whatever your heart desires as far as you can write what you want, draw what you want, but in school, we're going to keep it appropriate, okay? Keep it free of drugs, alcohol, references to those things, anything that's illegal, and please don't use bad words or, bad, or imagery that's inappropriate, okay?
do that on your own time. I do encourage you, if you want to get political with these things, if you want to get into some of the issues that are going on in the world right now, please do. Art is a way to just let things out and really uh, describe how you feel and share how you feel. So do that. doesn't matter which way you lean politically or which way you stand on social issues, you are free to describe them. And having said that, if you see something in class that you might disagree with on those issues, you need to respect others. All right. Spend 30 minutes on this. Fill the entire paper. And then you'll take a picture and submit it on Canvas. Have fun.